Hello, welcome to my channel, Blender Bones, where I cover all sorts of different issues and challenges and tutorials in Blender. Today, one of my students got in touch and they said that they've imported a rock in from Meshroom, which is a great uh, photogrammetry application if you haven't heard of it. And it's come in at a bit of a funny angle, as you can see. They want it to be flat against the axis points here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now how to straighten that up so that it sits absolutely perfectly against any flat surface. So without further ado, let's have a look at the image. As you can see, the rotation is completely out. If I were to attempt to rotate this now using the R key, it's rotating around a bit of a mystery origin point here. You can see the origin point is right in the center there at zero, zero, zero. And we can see that if you just make sure that you press N on your keyboard to bring this up if you haven't, if it's not already there. And you can see the origin point, the location is zero, zero, zero. So the origin point of this image is a little disconnected from the object itself. So first things first, I'm going to reset the origin point so that it's in uh, a better spot. Now there's lots of ways I can do this. One method would be to go to the object menu here and then go to set origin and I could choose origin to geometry and that would set the origin point to the center of the object. I'm going to use a more accurate method though. I'm going to tab into edit mode and deselect anything that's already selected. So if you have a couple of things selected, just Click away from it like that and I'm going to select one edge there. Holding down the shift and the alt key I'll click on another and that should select right around my edge. If it doesn't work for you, depends on your model, you may have to go through it manually but hopefully you won't. Okay so there is my selection because I want my origin point to be in the center of that selection. So right in the middle here and also right in the middle here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to press S on my keyboard and I'm going to choose cursor to selected and that will move this little cursor up here, this cursor here to the center of that selection. And then tabbing out of object mode, I'm going to go to the object menu. I'm going to go to set origin but this time I'm going to choose origin to 3D cursor. Did you see it shift then? And there we can see our origin point is now perfectly in the center and at the bottom, the base of my rock. Now going back to transform and uh, what have you, I'm going to go to the location and I'm going to type in 000, zero, zero just to put it right down here. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Now the rotation is not telling us much. Um, I, well, I actually, before this video, messed around with the rotation. So if I was to put zero, zero, zero in there, it'd probably come out correct. But let's ignore that, okay? Because um, I'm just simulating what my uh, student was experiencing earlier. So we're gonna rotate this rock now so that it sits perfectly. Best way of doing this in my mind, because we're gonna do this by eye, is by hitting number one on our numerical pad. And as you can see, that's basically put everything the X axis. So it's now looking straight on. And then I'm going to rotate until it looks straightish. Still not right. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try hitting three on the keypad. Now that's going on the Y axis. And I'm going to rotate it again. Maybe something like that. I'm going to go back to one now. Ah, now this is starting to look a little more light like that. Back to the three, finishing touch. How about that? Perfect, perfect. There we go, a little bit of a rotation there. That is looking pretty spot on. I always like to press Control A at this point and click on rotation and scale, just so everything is fixed. It sort of resets all of these numbers here. And now, as you can see, I think we're pretty much done there. So we have rotated the rock, uh, we've reset the origin point and made sure that the location is now on zero, zero, zero. So yeah, job well done. 
Okay, if you found this video useful, please do like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you receive more videos as they appear. And please, please do comment if you've got any other suggestions on ways of rotating and fixing a rotation, then by all means, in the comment section below, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.